Okay, today I'm going to show you how to strip wire. The tools that you're going to need, you're going to need a wire strippers, a Phillips screwdriver with an interchangeable bit, needle nose pliers, and a utility knife. We're going to be um, stripping wire, but we're going to uh, apply the wire to uh, this duplex receptacle. The wire I'm going to be using, and this is really important, this is something that uh, everyone should know. You'll see that it says type N M, and what that stands for is non metallic. And then you slide down a little more, it says 14 2. That means that it's 14 gauge wire, two wires with the ground, and that's exactly what you're going to find inside this cable. We're going to use our wire. Uh, strippers to cut the wire. Uh, there's a little wire cutter edge right here and that's what we're going to use. I'm going to make our cut so, so I have something to work with. So we're looking for the ground and the ground is a bare wire. It's going to be like bare copper. Now you may have to make the cut at the top a little bigger. And again, what you're trying to do is you're just trying to find that ground wire. You can use the ground wire to split the jacket. So I'm holding the, the wire at the top with my uh, wire strippers and I've got my needle nose pliers and I'm just going to rip the side down, give myself a little room. And I'll explain again why I do this. It's because you don't want to nick wire by cutting through the jacket, the sheathing. This is a much safer route because if you nick the wire with a utility knife, you could cause a short later. Okay, so what I have here is I have my um, my neutral, that's the white wire, my neutral, this is my ground here, and this is my hot wire, the black wire. So what we want to do is we just want to strip off probably about three quarters of an inch to make our connections to uh, the terminal. Okay, what we have here is our, a pair of uh, wire strippers and you'll see a series of holes on the um, on the clipper head themselves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to let's see here this uh, first hole that's for 10 gauge wire we're not stripping 10 gauge wire so we're going to move on. The second hole that is for 12 gauge wire that's still a little too large for us we have 14 gauge. And then the third hole here is for 14 gauge wire. Now these uh, wire strippers are a little old and, and you can no longer see the, um, or maybe you can, you may be able to pick up the numbers on the side. Uh, wire strippers are going to have a number next to each hole so you'll know which wire it is that you're stripping. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, insert the proper amount of wire which is about three quarters of an inch and it's going to give us enough to work with into that hole. Bear down on the wire strippers and you want to rotate the wire strippers just a little bit. Now what's interesting is it's just cutting through the jacket, just the insulation around the neutral wire. It's not cutting or damaging the wire. And now you just want to tug and pull it clean. There you go. Now you're going to want to do the same thing with the hot wire here. There we go. Now we've got uh, what we need to work with. We don't have to do anything to our ground wire because it's already bare. So let's get started. Let's start with the ground. Now the ground on a receptacle is always indicated by a green screw. And this is our ground wire. So we're going to want to attach our ground wire to our ground screw. And how you do that is you take your needle nose pliers grab your wire at the end and you roll it. Then you wanna give a little bend to the back of the neck. Make it like a question mark. That's what you're looking for. Attach the ground. There we go. We've got it. Now you wanna use your needle nose to pinch it a little bit around there because you wanna have a, a real solid loop around that screw. So 
it's snugged up now we're just going to screw it in it's that's not going to go anywhere folks okay so you want to repeat the process with your neutral okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach this neutral to the uh terminal. Notice that it's a silver terminal and that's what you want to attach your uh, neutral wire to. Okay now this is very important. When you tighten the terminal screw you're going to be turning it clockwise. You want to make certain that your wire will roll onto the terminal as you tighten the screw. Now we've attached the hot wire, that's the black wire, to the brass terminal this time. Okay, so it's the same situation where the uh, terminal screw goes clockwise. Okay, so it's, it's, the outlet is wired, and, and just as an additional safety precaution, I always like to wrap my outlet in tape, electrical tape, and it creates another safety barrier in the event that uh, one of the wires comes loose and that's the way you want it to look. I want to show you how to do a wire splice with a uh, wire nut connector. Uh, what you want to do is, I've got two uh, hot wires here that I'm going to join together and you want to grab the tip. So this is what I have a uh, needle nose pliers. Lyman's pliers is, is another option. You want to bring the two wires together. You want to twist your wires you're going to be left with something like this then you're going to want to attach your wire nut. So you want to twist, twist, and that's a, that's a nice connection. That's on there very tight. Now for added safety, um, I always like to wrap the wire and the wire nut with a little electrical tape. That's a firm connection. This is how you make a good wire splice using a wire nut connector. This is Leah saying, you can do this.